everyone, it's Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. We're Shanghai Lizzie and just had its fifth anniversary. So today I actually want to talk about what do I think of, what do they have done for their fifth anniversary, like the new show, new activities, new merch, new fireworks. So yeah, like whole planning for their fifth anniversary. So just to give you guys a final thought, like I really do have a mixed feeling about this. So before Shanghai's fifth anniversary, we had Disneyland Paris 29th anniversary but that's not a big milestone because it's not like five years five years but before that it was Hong Kong Disneyland's 15th anniversary and I really do see a lot of resemblance but at the same time they're also doing something new which I really do appreciate I really do like so today I'm going to talk you guys through all of this and definitely let me know your opinions in the comments down below so that's Begin. For the first anniversary, the first new thing is the fireworks illuminate a nighttime celebration. I love that. Not my favorite fireworks, my favorite is still happy ever after. Nothing can top this so far. If I would see if harmonious can top that, but happy ever after, my favorite fireworks ever. But illuminate is great. Like I love like they're utilizing the castle more and they're adding Marvel segment, but they have taken out Star Wars, which I didn't like, and they have used some of the songs like too frequently, like they're doing too much for Rapunzel and Moana, and they are not paying attention to some other movies, which I didn't like. But overall, really loving the fireworks because of the new song, like the light is in you. I really love that song. And now let's talk about another thing, like their new theme song for their fifth anniversary, Magical Surprises. Love the song, but I don't know why from Shanghai Disneyland, they're always asking some TikTok singers to do their promotion songs. Seriously, you can just ask one of your cast members to sing it. Especially, for example, The Light, in, the light Is In You, like the Mandarin version, the male singer. It's really great. You can just ask him to sing it instead of just ask some TikTok singer to sing it. I know it can really bring you more popularity because it will bring his fans to the parks. But it's just kind of a one-time thing, right? It's not going to build like customer loyalty or anything. So I don't know what's the point of asking some TikTok singer to sing your sing song. I don't know, I think it's kind of a common thing to do, but personally, I really do not like this. Like, I would rather just to have some cast members sing it, because your cast members are so talented. Like, your cast members definitely have more love for Disney than some random TikTok singers. I'm just saying, sorry, it's just my own opinions. I'm sorry if this offends you, but this, this is just my own opinions. And then let's talk about what they did um June 15th. Let's talk about the date later. Let's just talk about what they have done. So the first is like they have kind of a castle show where all the princesses come out. And this thing. It's so like Hong Kong Disneyland 15th anniversary. Because for Hong Kong Disneyland 15th anniversary, um, they launched a new castle. And the castle incorporates all of the Disney princesses and the queens. So for their 15th anniversary, they had all the princesses and the queens come out. For, for Shanghai Disneyland, they did the same thing. But I don't know why, but they did have all the princesses come out. And the worst thing is like they are not copying it right. They didn't have all the princesses come out. Like I didn't remember Pocahontas. Yeah, so if you are going to just copy it, just copy the right, okay? It's not like you... Why you have to just left some princesses out? It's not fair. Like, why you have to left some princesses out? It's just not fair. And especially if Pokemon does not have such a popularity in China, like, you should definitely just let her come out so that people can get to know her. But one thing, like, I'm really glad this time, like, they did not leave out Tiana. Finally, Tiana in the park! Not in meeting grade, but finally Tiana in the park. I'm so happy. So anyway, so that's about the showing of the princesses. Like, they're doing it, but it's not like they're doing it right. 
I'm just curious like why they just cannot have all the princess and the queens out they just have to leave someone out that's just not fair but on top of that one thing we're glad they also show up some other characters and they have shown some Marvel heroes which I really like yeah and after that let's talk about the happy birthday song like after they have done all the princesses and the Marvel superheroes and they have Mickey and friends come out and Duffy and friends and they just did a happy birthday song together and then happy birthday song i know it's 50th anniversary it's supposed to see happy birthday but that's still kind of too similar to the one in hong kong because for hong kong ever since it's the 50th anniversary they have a kind of happy birthday show at a train station and then i think shanghai Dijian just take in from it and then use on the castle show because it's anniversary it's natural to sing a happy birthday song but it's just kind of too similar to the hong kong one yeah so i really do have mixed feeling about this and then let's talk about the new show mickey storybook adventure i have already uploaded my reaction my commentary and my thoughts about um, mickey's storybook adventure i will link it right here so you can check it out um like my opinions are more detailed in those so this is one I would just um, talk this through. Anyway, so this one, of course, like I said before, is a combination of different shows. It's a combination of Mickey's Wonder Book in Hong Kong, this event, also Mickey and the Magical Map in this event, California. It's just kind of too weird to have so much copy work for your fifth anniversary, right? You can definitely see like they are taking ideas from Hong Kong Disneyland Which is weird, I mean it's a 5th anniversary, it's a big milestone So I don't know why they are doing like so much copy work Definitely not like they are doing this for the last minute because Shanghai Disneyland is the first Disney park that recovered from the COVID-19 thing Like Shanghai Disneyland reopened first and it's kind of back to normal now so I don't really know why like they're not doing this for the last minute they have more than a year to plan this whole thing and they just did so much copy work now let's talk about merch like there is kind of like new merch I think it's really fun like I think it's kind of creative so they have a bubble one I will show you the footage right here so basically they have a bubble one but in the shape of a camera and when you click the thing on top I don't know what that caused anyway if you click that thing it just shoot up bubbles and yeah and you can have some interactive spots in the park they have five interactive spots in the park where you start to shoot bubbles they can just pull out some kind of trigger and then something will happen it's really a lot like um sorcerer mickey back in magic kingdom which is not gone rest in peace and also it's a lot like the one experience for harry potter at the universal so yeah, they have doing that and I really love that. It's really creative and it's kind of really fun. And also another thing like what they did for their fifth anniversary I kind of like is like they release some new information for their future plans. And so what we know is like Zootopia Land will open in 2023, which is in two years. And by the time, hopefully I will graduate and hopefully I will be in time for the opening ceremony and I can get to show you guys. And also another new information is like they are getting a new AR experience store in Disney Town. And also another thing kind of exciting for all the Duffy fans out there, Duffy is getting a new friend called Lena Bell. And allegedly it's going to be a fox and Lena Bell is going to debut in Shanghai Disneyland first. And hopefully I can get to show you guys what Lena Bell looks like in the parks. And I think that's everything they didn't release anything extra. But I'm really glad that like, they used the 5th anniversary to release their future plans because it's such a good plan for and it really um, draw people's attention for their future development so that people can be more excited to go to the parks. And also another thing on June 15th, they did a like 2 minute special fireworks for the 5th anniversary which is kind of great. I have already uploaded that, you can check it out in my channel. Anyway, but now let's talk about the date. Everything like I said except for Illuminate, the big fireworks, they all happen on June 15th. But the actual opening date 
or Shanghai Disneyland is June 16th. One day apart. I totally didn't understand like why they just do it one day prior than the actual anniversary date. Maybe because of the weather. I, I know like June 16 is kind of a special day for Marvel, but they're not doing anything about that in the parks. So I don't know why they cannot just move the 15th anniversary kind of special celebration to June 16th, the actual opening date. And also they're not doing any preview for any pass holders. So it's kind of weird for me like so yeah i really do have a mixed feeling about their fifth anniversary celebration like the whole plan the whole promotion thing it's just kind of weird for me definitely let me know your opinions in the comment down below i'm truly sorry if i sound like really harsh on shanghai disneyland like i love shanghai disneyland i definitely love the park but i don't know why it's just feels weird to me like they're doing kind of this for the fifth anniversary because it's fifth it's kind of a milestone now i'm just hoping like they can do something new they can do something creative do something fun for their 10th anniversary anyway let me know your opinions in the comments down below what do you think of their fifth anniversary celebration yes i think that will be the video for today don't forget to check out my reaction and my commentary for the new show Mickey Star Bucket Adventure. Hope you guys like this video. Like the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys!